Seeing Mount Everest for the first time was whoa. Today, we will be cruising at 25,000 feet to see the highest mountain in the entire world. But wait, why is Everest such a big deal? Mount Everest is considered the top of the world, rising to 8,848 meters, and is also considered sacred to the country of Nepal. We are going to be seeing some of the most incredible mountains leading up to the glorious Mount Everest, also known as the goddess of the sky. But first, let's head to the airport. So we have got our ticket, we are at the International Airport here in Kathmandu. Okay, we need to get on the bus. Namaste. Good morning. Good morning. To board the mountain flight. <laughs> wow, well, I'm not sure how I feel about this. is going to be about an hour. So if we do your side, press mountains. Every person gets a window seat, so Shev is not sitting next to me. And we each get a window seat because on the way there, the left-hand side of the plane, which we are at right now, we get to see the view of Everest. And then on the way back, the right-hand side, we'll get to see it. Sad we're not next to each other. No, normally we sit right next to each other on the plane. <laughs> Fasten the seatbelt, clip the ends together, and tighten it by pulling this strap. I would give you a plain tour, but this is it. <laughs> it's still like crazy because we had to come to the airport as if we were going on a domestic flight, but we had no luggage. We're about to take off. We're going on to the runway right now. We've literally been sat here for about five minutes and we're already taking off. Here we go. Oh, Our flight to mountain will take 50 minutes and we'll start flying at an altitude of 25,000 feet. We look forward for a safe and comfortable flight. Thank you. just south of the Himalayas so as we're going along we can see each mountain peak we have a little brochure so we can pick out oh that's that mountain maybe that's Everest or that's Lhotse so we've just started so we're only seeing peaks at about 7,000 meters which is still crazy but we're gonna make our way further east and that's where Everest is this is our first sighting of the mountain Ladies and gentlemen, if you look to your left, you will see our first sighting of Lang Tang, which is ranging at 7,234 meters, also known as one of the most beautiful of the Himalayan range. This is so impressive. I can't actually believe we're doing this. To see this up close, through the camera, it won't do any justice, but to see it yourself is unbelievable. We wanted to thank Get Your Guide for sponsoring this video. Out of all the tours we've done, this has got to be the coolest, highest, Everest? 
We booked this tour through Get Your Guide and if you don't feel like trekking for two weeks, you can have the opportunity to see the Himalayas and Mount Everest from your guaranteed window seats. Get Your Guide offers 60,000 curated bookable tours in over 3,600 destinations worldwide. That's a lot to choose from. It's so easy to find something fun and enjoyable to do, like casually seeing Mount Everest up close. Book a food tour in Spain or go mountain viewing like us on your next trip. It's super easy to find a tour with your preferred date, there's no paperwork needed, pickup and drop-off is included and there's 24-7 support if needed. Other perks like free cancellation and one of my favorites being skip the line value. Next time you're thinking of booking a tour head over to get your guide using the link below and I hope you booked this one because it was really worth it. Okay let's continue flying. Uh, I consider it as the most beautiful mountain. Yes. This is the world first one. Wow. And I'll be here again to brief you on. Thank you. We are now coming up to Durge Lakpa and shortly behind is Shisha Pengma, our first 8000 mountain which lies on the border of China. Right now between the two snow-capped mountains there is a little gap and that is the only highway or road that goes from Nepal to Tibet into China. That's the way they go through, through that little gap in the mountains. It's crazy to witness that there is a perfect line of snow at the top of the mountains and yet directly at the bottom and below, there is no snow. So as the sun is shining on top of these mountains, you can see this perfect line of icy white snow. That's quite incredible. And it just gives you an appreciation for these mountains, the Himalayas. It is impossible for us to portray this on camera because first of all, there are scratches all over the window. And I think I have an extra layer of appreciation for the people that attempt to climb these high mountains. So there's actually quite a vibe on the plane because everybody is looking outside the window and searching, trying to see the highest peaks in the world. Exactly right now is Mount Everest, Nuxil, Lotsi, Chamla, Makalo. And show you a number on your left coming out. Thank you. Seeing Mount Everest this close has got to be the most surreal moment we have ever had. That's kind of difficult to put into words, seeing as though it takes 10 months to climb this incredible landmark and also you need $30,000. So we chose the easy mountain flight. <laughs> there are only 14 peaks in the entire world over 8,000 meters and they all happen to be in the Himalayas and anything over 8,000 meters is known as the death zone. As you climb to higher altitudes, the air is thinner and there is less oxygen so your body cannot function as normal and starts to shut down. This is our first sighting of Mount Everest and all I can say is that it's really daunting. Also what I'm thinking about is how many people risk their lives to trek up that mountain. We have major respect for them even though we get to sit on that cozy airplane and see it from afar. It's still incredibly magical. The first two people to successfully climb Mount Everest were known as Sir Edmund Hillary from New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay, a Nepali Sherpa in 1953. And since then over 9,000 people had summited Everest. The Sherpas who are native to the Himalayan range have inherited the trait of having increased hemoglobin production which allows them to function in in low oxygen environments in the high altitude. They are honestly the champions of the Himalayas as they guide the way to Everest. This is probably the clearest sighting of Mount Everest. It's crazy to hear the flight attendant say, on your left, there's Mount Everest. Never in my life did I ever think I would experience this. I actually can't believe it.
probably one of the most relaxing flights I've ever taken with the most spectacular views ever. The highest mountain in the world in eyesight, in like perfect range. I'm just lost for words. Thank you. We get our very own certificate to say that we have seen Mount Everest at 25,000 feet. How special is that? Having the opportunity to see Mount Everest up close and personal in this lifetime has got to be one of those pinch me moments. So if you made it this far, consider clicking the subscribe button that you're seeing right now. So if you would want to take this flight, let us know. We hope you had a pleasant and memorable flight with us. Thank you for choosing Three Airlines. Namaste. Have a good day. Wow, that was awesome. Namaste. Namaste. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, that was awesome. Woohoo! We did it. Woo! We made it. We made it. Wow.